Preach. For the most part, if you don't know who you are, you cannot explain to anyone what your purpose and your destiny is. That's right. Amen. What's your existence? How then do you differ from anything else mm. that God has ever made? What is the difference between the world and you? My, my, my. See, we, we, we have to understand, this is a three-part type of system. You have the world, you have the kingdom of God, and then you have you. That's right. Where do we fit in at? When we begin to look at the world aspect of doing things, it operates on a totally different system. Its system is to always personify the, this thought that you are not perfected. That what you are is always going to be a, a imperfect situation. Mm -hmm. And the devil is a liar. That's right. Well. Tell the truth, Apostle. When we walk in our purpose, our destiny, and when we walk in the perfection of God, then we already realize that we're as perfect as can be. Come on now. I'm not talking about the flesh. Amen. Come on now. I know that's But when right. you begin to look at the spirit man, and you begin to walk in the spirit, yes. uh -huh. you will realize and recognize that you are already perfected. That's right. Why? Because his strong arm has perfected that thing which concerns you. Mm. Mm. Jesus. He didn't do it in no weakling type of style. He didn't do it in no okie doke. <laughs> he took that very same thought towards you and put it out there and let everybody know, including the devil himself, that I have perfected his works. Come on, dog. You perfected. I have perfected yes, sir. his life. Yes, sir. He didn't just take and do it just haphazardly. You know, some of us see one of the things we think we came to this world by accident. Mm -hmm. I don't care what the circumstances was when you were placed in your mother's womb. It don't make a difference. You're here now. Mm -hmm. When God spoke your breath into existence, I told somebody, I said, you know, it was a couple of weeks ago I preached on a message that said, when the doctor tapped your bottom to get you to breathe, the first thing you did was exhale. You didn't breathe in first. You exhaled. Mm. And you put a sound out into the atmosphere. Come on, Apostle. You decreed and declared your breath of life at that point. Mm. One of the things we've forgotten is to be able to, and I heard it earlier, to speak the breath of life. That's right. To speak into our cause and our situation. We forget that who we are. Ah. Let me move further. I, 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 I got, I'm going to move along. I don't want to be with y'all. And boy, I don't want to do that. The works of thy hands let not fall. This man is talking to God. Don't let the works of your hands. In other words, he laid the responsibility in this translation back on God. But he also took back into remembering. Some of us have not gained our memory back. Woo! Do you remember when God first spoke to you? Do you ah. remember when God called you? Do you remember when you began to just look at God and God began to look at you? Do you remember? Do you remember what he said about you? Did you remember, do you remember any of the promises in which he called forth out of you? See, let me go. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. I won't get ahead of myself on this. But because he's called some things in you, he's called some things to be in you, you have a responsibility to recall those things to him. All right. Come on, Apostle. It's not that he's forgetful. He just wants to see if you know. Come on. Mm -hmm. Have you been listening to me? Have you been observing what I've said to you? Ah. Uh, Amen. Good word. 
I remember not long ago, and everybody gets here. See, 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 life is like a train track. And let me just put this out here. Let me just go ahead and recall some things. But for each and every one of us, and a matter of fact, for some specifically, you one, Tony, you another, this young lady back here. Life is like a train track. There's been some people that have watched your locomotive travel that train track. Mm. And sometimes they stop what they're doing in order to watch which way your locomotive that God has put you on, in charge of, is heading. Mm. Come on, Apostle. And they're standing on the side of, of the track to take, and they're standing, and this is something he showed me before, he, 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 he's, they're standing next to the switch. And so what their effort is, is to try to derail because you're moving at a faster pace than what they actually phantom. And they're trying to derail what God has already placed in motion on the track. So they want to my. flip that switch. Close. And when they begin to look at it, they'll flip that switch. The track comes and they wonder why you have not derailed yet. <laughs> and instead of derailing, you're picking up steam. You're picking up steam instead of derailing. Because see, you have to recognize that God is in charge. He will perfect. He's already perfected that, that very same thing. All you have to do is keep on the track. It don't make a difference where they pull switches at. Come on. Uh-huh. That was for you. With a mighty arm. He's going to complete all that he has set up yes, sir. and stored yes. within you. I want you to take note of that word, stored within you. Mm. Come on. Now. Because it's important and it's vital for this time. For this time, people of God, it is important and vital that that which he stored up in you now becomes, it is already perfected. It's already done. Your, 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 your pot is on board. All the seasonings that he placed in there has already been. Amen. There's, there's a, there's a, there's a, a, a pot that's been ruined. Inside of you. It's been on simmer. It's been on simmer, but now God is turning it up a little bit. Turning it up. I know the kids like that. Turn, turn, turned up, turned up, turned up. He's doing, he's turning it up. And he's bringing all those flavorings that they have settled and sedimented at the bottom. And he's bringing it to the top. Because now it's time for the world to taste exactly and see what the Lord has done for you, through you, and is getting ready to do for them. Amen. Amen. All they're going to have to do is just come and, and, and taste of his goodness. But you're going to have to be able to do some things too. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, see, 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 he said, I, I, I allow those folks and those circumstances. Some of you all have experienced some, some circumstances beyond your imagination. Some of you all have come in contact with some folk. You've been like, Lord, what, well, why am I in contact with these people? Come There's on. nothing that I desire. Come on, God. You have to tear me up. Come on, God. Lord. Lord, why are you send me into the wolf's den? Why are you send me into the, the lion's area? Come on, And Apostle. even with the lion, you, do you not know that their teeth cannot touch you? You're preaching. Yes, sir. Their claws cannot rip you. <laughs> even if they did. He would take and heal in their very sight. 
That's right. Some of you all, let me, let me, let me, let me. Okay. Uh, you know, putting on the whole armor of God. That's right. Do you not know when you put on armor, the purpose of the armor is to take the hit for you? Come on now. That's right. And when you put on that armor and it gets hit, that armor will get kicked. That means it's doing its job. It's to, and, 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 and see, so what it's got a little kink in it? So what it's got a little tear in it? So what it's got a little hole in it? Why? Because that is the proof of your existence of what God is doing for you. Come on now. Yes, sir. Mm. Mm. That is that is a warrior spirit. Uh huh. That is what. Look at this. This this kink right here. Well, the enemy shot a dart and it kind of you know hit it, but it didn't penetrate it. Come on now. Mm. 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 Didn't kill me. Didn't kill. Didn't touch. could touch you. It may have hit it. Mm. Your shield. I right, keep your shield up. Keep your shield up. Keep your shield up. Don't let it down. But what will happen is they'll come to realize that, yay, my hand is upon them, saith the Lord. My hand is upon them. And see, when, when people see God's hands upon you, <laughs> we've sit in the midst of some. And the look that is received is always a why not I? Come on now. Mm -hmm. How did that? Yep. Mm -hmm. What took place? Mm -hmm. Why is the favor of God so phenomenal upon them? Are they? Uh, why is that? How is that? And, 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 and see, we have to understand this thing is not a time consumed. Thing. That's right. The only time that is actually important is the time you spend with him. Come on, That's man. right. That is what determines how much favor you obtain. Now, I'm not just talking about any time. I'm talking about some quality time. Amen. That's right. There's some quality time that has to be spent. You're going to labor some. You're going to have to take in and shed some sweat. As though it was drops of blood. You're going to have to get into the presence of God. Much, see, 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 we seek after the anointing. But really what we need to do is seek after the presence. Because when Christ got in the presence, that's one of the things that he prayed for. Father, mm. let it be like it was before when we you, you, you kind of dwelled together. Not that he was separated, separated. But he wanted that thing where, you know what, we, 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 we hooked here. Yes, Lord. We have to get to the point where that's what we desire. Yes, Lord. So when the enemies come, they wonder why. How is that? What took place? What changed? How did they grow up so fast? <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> he was nobody last yesterday. Now the thing of a sudden. <laughs> and there's the oh, let me go on ahead and lay this out out there. I, there's some here who, because of your faithfulness, come on, Doc. Because of your faithfulness, because of your faithfulness, because of your faithfulness, there you go. The connection is so mighty that. Because of your faithfulness, because of your faithfulness, Doc, and being able to just move and minister and preach. See, that's something that even, and I just met you, really, really met you on Friday, but there's some who have been able to not stand you. You in the vein, Doc. See, 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 they're getting ready to have something flipped. Mm. There's a light switch that's getting ready to go on for them. Ah. Uh. And when they do it, they're going to wonder why they're doing it. Come on, Apostle. You're going to get a blessing by him. Amen. Amen. Come on, Apostle. You're going to get a blessing. Yeah. Woman of God, you've been through so much, but you know what? That what you've been through, and I know this is cliche stuff, and yeah, devil for your trouble. No, 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 no. That's not enough. Mm. That's not enough. Mm. 
half the stuff the devil stole, you didn't need no way. Come on, that's right. Come on, speak. You need some new stuff. Uh. God is getting ready to give you some whole, total different, a uh, total different wardrobe, if you will. Mm. I'm not talking about clothing. I'm talking about a whole different total wardrobe from mine down. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You so quiet. So it appears. And God is getting ready to actually do something that is bringing you out.